Hello. I was starting to think I'm the, on the wrong call. Oh. <laughs> Let's see how many people will join us for today. But it seems like there are not much much issues uh, on the content side on the on the white paper. Yeah, it is quite nice. But there are very, very much, very much comments out there. Okay, so Jennifer will also join us. She was in the wrong time zone. Hi. Hello. Hello. It seems like you were in the wrong time zone, weren't you? Well, uh, the clocks change in the UK only, I think, next week. So they, I realized the CNCF calendar is kind of following some US time zones, like, and then they change to summertime before uh, Europe, I think. Mm -hmm. So our, our meetings are normally at five, right? <laughs> and I and I didn't have I don't have it in my calendar. I don't know why. Like it's gone, but I know it is at five. So I was yeah. Well, <laughs> I was gonna double check back to the middle, but my meeting overran. But anyway, I'm here. Sorry. <laughs> Problem. Um, yeah, I need to check when now when we're changing. Yeah. They are going to change. I don't know if it in Israel it has. Oh, no. We changed in, no. in two days. Two days ago. No, no. Ah, okay. Next. Ah, today. you change next week, like in the UK. Yeah, yeah. Same. We'll also change on Sundays. I think we were changing on this Friday. Yes, this Friday. Really strange. Okay. Oh, that's really 
bad idea to do that. <laughs> that realization that you have to wake up one hour earlier. <laughs> no. We're changing on Friday, the day before, and the day before a big holiday. Okay. <laughs> Other people problems. <laughs> <laughs> you just arrive one hour late for work one day and you're like, yeah. oh, I'm late, sorry. Okay, from tomorrow, welcome. <laughs> How's it going? Um, yes, you're fine, thanks. And you? Good, good, good. Good, good. What am I asking? <laughs> oh. That sounds not as enthusiastic. Okay. Um, yes. So for the for the agenda today, I, I thought we'd talk about some comments in the white paper um, from the reviews um, and try to solve them if possible, or to to add additional comments to solve them later. And um, yes, currently I think we have. A pretty much a uh, pretty good um, amount of reviews. So I think uh, three or four people at least um, reviewed until now. And we had a lot of very nice comments until now. Um, so uh, uh, let's say it this way it wasn't fundamentally wrong what we wrote. Uh, at least it seems so. Um, so let's let's try to get this out. Um, another thing, because I, I think I've, I wrote it on this lecture, um, on this lecture uh, last week. Um, I'm not really sure how we deal with the, with uh, native language reviews and so on of the white paper, and how uh, who we we could contact to get this in a to to make this white paper a bit prettier afterwards. Um, have you got an idea or do you know where we could reach out? Wait, what is the phase are you talking about? Just uh, to check. I'll, I'll open the schedule here. I don't have it. Just, uh, um, I guess it's the one that reviews if like, I, I basically like editor or like of, is that what people had in the, um, in the other white papers, like what, what did they do? So it is the one that in starts narrative voice. Is that the one you're talking about? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you can review to provide things with narrative voice. Against levels, keeping with goals, audience, and scope. Who did that for like the security? For example, the security white paper, was it somebody mm. like who should do it? Uh, what is the profile of the person? Um, I'll try to ping Emily from the security on music. Yeah. I'll try to find out where they This was a good idea. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I don't know if it should be someone from outside to have a, a different perspective, if it can be someone, one of us, mm -hmm. but just one person to, and then, I don't know, like, yeah, it would be good to just. I think at some point it would be nice if it's, if, if someone would write you whose native language is uh, this is, because I think in our three cases, um, English is not our native language, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, therefore, this would be would be pretty cool. Um, yes, and furthermore, but I will also talk about uh, talk with Emily about this. Um, I think we need some version of the white paper in PDF or equally, and I'm not pretty sure how uh, who will do this or if we should do this by ourselves and so on. And um, I'll also try to clarify this until the next meeting. Mm, okay. So, um,
Okay, then let's go to the paper. If nobody has another has other issues. Uh, mm. The other procedure sounds like is the to verify with maybe Thick Security who did their narrative voice, like what yeah. or what sort of person we should search for. Not necessarily a person with the with the, the native speaker, but maybe someone who's has experience writing, doing writing in English, or has gone to university. I don't know those names. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'll try try to find out how they deal with this. And um, yes, I will keep keep you in touch. Since you have. Since they have something about content, I think so, to be honest, but I'm not pretty sure who, who this is. But we will find it later. Maybe Sig Docs. Yes, this could be a second, uh, second place to to con a second contact kind of contact that we that we ask Sig Docs um, what, how they how they um, would deal with this. Okay, but nevertheless, let's look over the white paper. So um, I've tried to approve as many as many things as possible, or commit as, as many things as possible. Um, Thank you. Just a second, I'll share my screen. Hopefully, anyone can see this. And we have a large pull request. Our white paper is very slow. I think it needs some performance team. Um, okay, so we have some some changed files. Hopefully, only one. And okay, this is also new. Um, and let's see. Okay, there are some more things. Well, not. Okay, are, are we are looking at the things that you approved and are, and are merged, or are we going to look at the stuff that's still pending? No, we uh, we should look up over the things which are currently unclear. So, um, so it will be in the files changed in the conversation, right? Yes. So it's I think they are. So I uh, I'm, uh, I don't want to talk about such things. They uh, I think we should we should simply change them. Um, this is also already resolved, but there is a lot of, uh, there is a large discussion. And um, I think Omar talked a lot. And um, do you have a plan what we should change there? Uh, I think we need to capture Ma Michael uh, ideas, especially his second comment which uh, explain a little bit more a declarative idea. And then I think we should change the word domain specific knowledge to state, but probably also capture some of Michael more advanced explanation. Um... To be honest, an operator deals with domain-specific knowledge. Um, and this domain-specific knowledge should be, um, in my opinion, uh, uh, specified in a declarative way. I'm not, um, uh, and I'm not really sure if this is only a problem um, uh, 
in terms of formulation and not, um, and, and not a, a, a problem in the content. So the domain specific knowledge according to what Michael is explaining, and I think it's reasonable, is that domain specific knowledge is captured in the code of the operation. The API that's exposed is declarative, but that's not the domain specific knowledge. The domain specific knowledge of how to run commands against resources are, is actually the code in the controller. Okay, um, I think I get your point. So um, you thought about the content of the custom resource when you uh, when we well, we thought about the content of the custom resource when we when we wrote, wrote such things as domain uh, declarative domain specific knowledge. Um, and the domain specific knowledge itself is written in the operator code, which is absolutely correct. Yeah, that um, what I mean that we need to capture some thought Michael raised, but eventually change the wording. Yeah. Yes, and the, yeah, it's like what is declarative knowledge, right? That's, that he's like asking, <laughs> like, what what does it? Yeah, I suppose because yeah. We, we have to be very clear here, like, and be able to explain that. And then if it's a bit, oh, okay, we meant this, is, can be confusing for people who don't never seen these things. Yeah. Yes, and I think uh, with, this, with uh, the thing we've specified as domain specific knowledge might be the desired state of the, uh, so we should we should um, say that this is the desired state of this of the application or whatever the operator is um, responsible for. Yeah. Should we assign this as an action for one of us to take I'll, to I'll take formulate? It. Yeah. Or we can yeah. Reference new issue. This is cool. Um. Okay. How, will, how do we call this? <laughs> uh, clarify declarative, the declarative knowledge. I guess it's with language maybe we wanted to put, I don't know. Hmm? Like we, did we want to, I mean, this is correct. No, that's fine, that's fine. <laughs> I was just saying like, we normally use declarative language, declare it uh, domain specific language too sometimes like the, the words but like maybe i don't know leave it um. Is this clear enough? So um, the domain specific knowledge should be the operator code itself. Um, and the desire state is the thing we meant before. Yeah. <laughs> so um, let's say kind of configuration. I think this is clear now. And I think we'll assign this to Oma. Yeah. Yeah.
，就是这样。Okay, perfect. Then we have a task. Um, next time I'll open up a new window. Um, okay, so this was the first one. Therefore, we have a task now. Also, yes. Perfect. Okay, then we have the second thing. Um, I think nobody of us read this. Is this true? Yeah, that's once again the idea of where we capture things. I. The problem is we we took those two and put it in the controller. Then mm -hmm. an operator is just a controller. Yes. Okay, so I think this is also a thing we could handle in, in this task, couldn't we? Because this all this also has to do something with um, domain specific knowledge and so on. Well, should we should we create another task for that? Because do you want? I think it's the same it's, direction. It's it's very similar. I that think that. Another... Yeah, Jennifer, sorry. Sorry, Vincent. Sorry. I was just saying that each each of these ones could be a, a different task, and then we can either like if if Omer feels comfortable to do this one because it's similar to the other one, we can assign to Omer. But I could also try to, to do something as well here. Like I think in this case it's the same section, so uh, uh, the same. Okay. Uh, so so there are, these are two paragraph paragraphs under each other. So I think All this right. would be okay if we. You, you could add the the link to this comment then to the task that you created before. What do we want to do here? Do we want to move those both to the controller or do we want to just change the main specific knowledge to desire state? Because- oh, Okay, um, just a second. I guess the bit that is here is just like the domain specific knowledge is part of the operator, uh, but the domain specific knowledge is not what describes the state of the application. It is just that, it, that that's a bit confusing. It's um, merging both things. I mean, can... sorry, what are you talking about? I think at the core it's the same than uh, than the than the in the previous thing, because we also wrote out the main specific knowledge that describes the state of the application in a correct way, and this is the, the exactly the, the same thing as before. Mm -hmm. So you want to say that an operator pattern consists of mm, components. One is the controller. The second is the declarative API. Which is the state of the application and not the actual knowledge. So this is the desired state of the application. To yeah. To. And does it also consist the application or infrastructure that it manages, or that's part of the controller? So the info. Um, very semantic. <laughs> 
does, doesn't the controller also uh, manages the uh, state? The state isn't that trying to reconcile the state and ensure it is. As... Yeah, but the state can live without a controller. The state can yes. Well, we I can put a state there. It will just do nothing. Yeah, you could. It's the like you can have a type like declared that does nothing. You can have but a you can also, resource with all the controllers. But the controller, yeah, but you can have a like, is, I don't know if it's like the type that is a track, basically, I don't know if I can call tracked or by the controller that ensures that it has a state like. Yeah. So when we say state, I think that is what we're talking about, right? The thing that is tracked by the controller because it's being reconciled and watched. Yeah, so we have a state, we have a controller. And have the an question is, process. is the application and the infrastructure a part of the controller or part of the pattern as a pattern? Um, so um, let's say we have, we have a configuration. This is the thing we have in the custom resource. Um, we have a controller, which is the, text, the, the domain specific knowledge. And we have managed objects. So uh, also infrastructure could be a managed object. Um, well, I, I uh, read about uh, how, how, how someone could name this, but I'm, I'm, I'm not, I cannot remember how they, named, uh, how they, how they called this. Once again, we can say that the infrastructure or the managed services can live without the controller. And that supplies that it should be part of the operator pattern and not the controller description. And then we need to change the wording. Sorry. I'm done. Um, I think uh, I think we are hitting the old discussion. So when when is an when is an controller an operator? Yeah. And um, as we as we discussed with, uh, um, earlier, this is the, the only difference is the is the type of word of of things he operates. Let's say this way. So um, it's only about. Um, Operator does things um, which an operator would typically do, uh, have, would typically have done about 10 to 15 years ago. Um, so this is the this is the thing how I how I could remember what an operator does. But um, to be honest, almost every control uh, every operator uh, so every operator is in control. Yeah, wow. but not every controller is an operator. I think. Yes. <laughs> Okay, I'll, I'll also try to describe that in the comment and, and continue the conversation around that, um, suggesting think, uh, some, some solutions. I think the main point in this, in this um, comment was that we also used the, that we, that we mixed up the domain specific knowledge and the declarative. Um, yeah. And I think we should, um, we should change this. Yeah, maybe like try to write it again, maybe without looking and then looking, I don't know, <laughs> some just to rethink that. If you want, I can try to write these three components and suggest or something. If you want to tag me there to like suggest. Yeah, just maybe because then it's a new, like a fresh pair of eyes in that. Because maybe. Yeah. Um, would you like to write the issue or should we do this here? If you could add me, just as like we'll try to something, or or if you prefer to put me in the other task, because like I don't, yeah, it's easier. Just just add me, and then yeah, we chat. I could chat it or something. <laughs> we'll we'll try to re rewrite the suggest something like that. Yeah. Other suggestion. Basically, a fresh pair of eyes. Yeah. Thanks. 
okay. not that it wasn't clear, but like it's just like retry it maybe. <laughs> so it's a new like a new idea maybe. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um I think is this the uh, I think this was a was a thing I I've I've, I've that was so surprising to see that. I, I will fix that. Um, I think this was, wasn't this a, 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 a image which uh, which I created. The, the, I I created this one. Okay. I recreated in in a better way. Okay. I didn't even know how to use GitHub Black mode. Okay, then then you will uh, you will fix this. This was easy. It seems a bit silly to say custom resources, which are the time for custom resource definitions. Why? <laughs> capitalizing. Okay. I mean, like he says, maybe, maybe if you capitalized it, it would be more like. Um. But um, I saw that we have the same thing with the main specific knowledge here. Mm. I mean, I think if we, if we just put custom resources with CR with the big, yeah, like with the capital, it shows its specific Kubernetes term and then mm. custom resource definitions as well. And then I think that would so resolve um, it. I think we could um, we could remove the the thing um, which are defined by custom resource definitions, or put them with like together camel case like the way so and then with a uh, back ticks so it shows like I don't know if we, we are doing this pattern here no maybe not back ticks because if the other parts of the of white paper are not doing that I don't remember. Uh I think that we need to change that the word domain specific the knowledge there. Um, but let can we take that question back to seek docs? That's really um, how to write doc question. Um, <laughs> Maybe even to Kubernetes docs. Sorry, well, I didn't I understand what. Was. Um, as I wrote this was that um, you are dealing with custom resources and they are defined by custom resource definition. So these are two, two different things in this way. Um, but for me, it would be perfectly fine if we, um, as, as it's pretty obvious, um, if, we did, if we remove this, this one, this, this part, because then it would be more or less clear or prettier. Um, because I think we talked really a lot about custom users definitions in the in the white paper. Well, in, well, uh, my my opinion, it's it's not really. It's just that it's not clear that this is a specific Kubernetes thing because it is not written in the like Kubernetes way, like custom resources definitions. If it was like that, it would be understood that it's just saying like there is an actual denomination for that in Kubernetes, and that's like an object that you define. But I am happy with either. I'm not. If you prefer to remove, I don't think it's actually. I don't think it's so obvious. That's what I mean. Like because people who are new to this will not necessarily know that you will declare with custom resource definitions. But if you mention that, maybe I would have to read the doc if it's already been mentioned several times, maybe you already know. But if not, it's, it's not a problem to, to, to put it there. Okay. And like he said, you, you would put out. a link. Yeah, and, and like the guy said, put the link, like custom resource definitions, and then people can, you know, Refer to the concept. Okay, so we have an issue. So this was number 100. Mm. <laughs>
so many issues, hundred issues. <laughs> hundred. Okay, so this was this one. Okay. Um, yes, I think we could simply add this. Yeah. What will happen if you press on the tick? Then, we, then you could send the tick. <laughs> to who? Or oh, beyond, yeah, like beyond the defaults. <laughs> beyond, yeah. Is this um as we just there's a few kilometers in addition uh, so um we would add in addition to the default API uh, uh custom resources are used to we um, could add as a suggestion now as well like and then just yes I would like to add this as a suggestion now yeah Me and Oma think like put, we could put beyond beyond the default Kubernetes API. And then we can tag the guy and say, is that okay? Also, we just as we used to store the print stuff or stuff to put it in the default API, I think. Yeah, we could do that. 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 Oh. Um, custom resources are used to store and retrieve structured data in Kubernetes beyond the default. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you want to tag the, the or are we just going to commit this? No. Tag it. Yes. I think we'll ask him if this is what he meant. And... Yeah, if so that's okay. Yeah, we can just add him in the reply now. Nice. Okay, this is um the, the is the custom users contains the yes the desired state I think that's also also a good preview. Because the domain specific logic, logic is in the controller and not in the, in the custom resource. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm. I see. Of the application or the resource? Where? Mm. What changed this? Would you put that with a capital R to be like, or we don't? 
Mm -hmm. I want your opinion because I mean, with they are like, is it when we talk about resources, do we talk about a Kubernetes specific thing? Um, or can I just talk about resource as I think at, thing? at some point it's better if we could if we talk about resources. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, I asked a question like about should the resource be with the capital R or not? Like is is resource in, when you re read this or write this meaning a Kubernetes specific thing or a generic general thing? This is more generic, I think, because the resource could also be. What could this be? Yes. Can it be something different? from a mm -hmm. Kubernetes specific thing. So I think this would be enough. Okay, uh, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know the answer, that's why I'm asking. <laughs> because it was the, I, I was trying, no. I, I couldn't think of something that wasn't a Kubernetes thing, like either a custom resource or a pod or, a, mm. you know, so I, okay. if that's uh, the, I always I true. Mean, yeah. So if, if it was something, could be something else, maybe some other API, then I would just use lowercase. But if it is always a Kubernetes thing, I don't know. I, I would put a capital R, I think. I just, just not there. <laughs> <laughs> not telling anyone because I don't. Oh, so? I'm not sure about it. Uh, no, I was going to put a capital R. Hmm? I would put a capital R because I think the, the Kubernetes. Uh, maybe I'm. Maybe maybe I am. Maybe I'm being silly. But let me look. Kubernetes resources. Do they do they use capital R? Like I thought it was some. Is this a capital? It's resources. Yeah, like resources. Maybe not. Maybe you, you just forget about what I said. <laughs> let's try. Let's see what what comes back. Um, no, it's okay. okay. Don't worry. It's 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 in lowercase. Forget everything I said. Anytime I'm reading here on the documentation, um, when you specify the resource, blah blah blah. It's, I don't. Know. Yeah, I think it's it's with the lowercase. So don't don't. Okay, then let's change this again. Yeah, sorry. Maybe I'm, no problem. I... Okay, then the next one. Um, I'll I simply do this. Um, yes, we could we could write that we um, that this could be applied with kubectl apply, but um, yes, I don't think it's necessary at this point of the document. Ah, uh, okay, and uh, he wants to. Yes, so um, he wants to represent. But that's also true because um, there's also a status in, inside, and this would also would, would also yeah. um, would yeah, be the, the, the complete custom resource. Mm. Hey. Hmm? I think this same, but but I. Uh, to be honest, I think this sentence is important enough that we that we should keep it. I also see that. See. So if we think that I, I haven't finished reading, but like we could put the comment there as well. So then at least to like why, and then we can you know if there is a more kind of like a consen not consensus but like democratic thing to be like okay the reason it was. 
no, it was not ignored. It was just that thought about it and think that. And then like, yeah, oh, I, yeah. Let's see. This is okay. Mm, yeah. Mm. Well, we can also say that we'll take another look in the narrative phase. Mm. Um, to be honest, in a in a perfect world, it would be obvious to um. Um, that that a backup uh, that a backup you make is also restorable, um, but in the last what? twenty years I had cases where this was was not not the not the case, and therefore it should be mentioned anyway. Is there also a restore capability? Yes. So, so do we uh, put perhaps like so this backup should be implemented in a way. Maybe so then like I don't know if it would help. So I say this backup should be done in a way. It feels like uh, um, although I although it's that, I don't know, like does the backup need to do anything to do with it can be restored and uh, restored? Like what, what is what is in the implementation of a backup that Thinks about well, although it, okay, if you encrypted the backup file and it cannot be decrypted or something like that, maybe. But then it's like, well, you know what I mean. Like I'm talking about, like when would 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 I be thinking about restoring the implementation of a backup? I don't don't see like. Um, <laughs> you could also think about you. Um, I'm not sure if this is a valid use case, but you could do a backup. Um, Use a randomized file name, and don't know which which file fits to which backup. Is that a backup if you cannot restore from that? Um, you, uh, obviously, you could restore from that, but you won't find it. So this this would be one case. Right. Um... So, as I said before, it. Pretty obvious. The sentence is pretty obvious, um, but um, uh, as I said, it's it's a bit it's a bit important to 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 define to uh, not to define this to state it. Um, but um, if you think it it's more obvious than I think, then uh, we could also simply drop it. Uh, I just I I think it's okay to to have it to have it there if we think this way like what we want to con that's the thing what they the this person thought was that there was nothing useful about this like but you think to me that there is something useful that is that the implementation of the operator backup functionality should be considering the next thing because of the domain knowledge that is there you know like and then an, an obvious example is a backup and restore where you would you have to ensure that when implementing a backup your restore can discover that backup file so i think it's worth they have changing this sentence to ensure that that's understood that the implementation of one that 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 the Domain knowledge there is important uh, so that you can guarantee some next thing that needs to be done too. I'm not sure really like, very clear, but basically like we can put that in the sentence, I think. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to try to, to suggest something then? Do you want to try? I can I can suggest like something. I mean, I want to change. I, I mean, I'm, I'm just trying to think now, like maybe that's like, like I said, so this backup should be implemented in a way that ensures that it can be restored, like that it's restorable, that the file created or that the artifacts produced. Uh, I, I'm, think, I'm trying to think about like maybe ways to word it in a way that there is some useful information because it is useful information. <laughs> Hopefully. But, 
<laughs> Omar made a face. I don't know if he's like. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was an, an, that. a good argument. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, yes, there is a there is one one handwritten diagram of of John there. Um, I think we should change this, and um, I will change this. So. Ah uh, yes, and then um, Andy stated that we could write a section about the shell operator. Um, I also told him that he could if he wants, um, but to be honest, I won't force this at the at the moment. Uh, yeah, you did right. I think just like if he if he thinks yeah. it would be great, he could add. <laughs> <laughs> But I like the idea that, a, that an operator could be written in Bash. Okay, yes, that's a, that's a more funny part, I think. So, oh, yeah, um, so um, Roland wrote that um the steps to uh, that the first step when you try to build the right operator is that you should not as assume that you know what's needed and whatever he meant there yeah. so some point, sometimes he's a bit philosoph philosophical um, yeah. Yeah, perhaps he could refer to this requirement engineering to not be just something like a loose sentence, right? He could suggest the thing. Should it maybe like as a something like as a force or something like that? Could we suggest? Uh, you want me to? Ah, you can suggest. Yeah, I think we could make it clearer that it is some some discipline kind of thing rather than make it explicit. Would you like me to write a comment for him to suggest that? Yes, this would this would would be pretty fun. Uh, I will. I can. I can do that. Yeah, I will do. Uh, I'll go. Do you want to share? Do need to. Uh, okay. Let's. Let me one second. I just to be. Not like the guy is reading to. Yeah. Where is the? Where is this PR? PR is here. I will. I will just share just as soon as I open the PR. Bear with me, bear with me. Where is the comment? Yes, that is the best practice. Okay. So, share screen. Okay. So, um, I was thinking like, would you mind making the requirement engineering focus more specific? Also, the reader doesn't like. I mean, just it doesn't seem to. So. Yeah. 
to it doesn't seem so. Hmm. Like out of the. Hmm. I, I I'm very I'm very careful with like reviews like because people I don't like to like hurt people <laughs> like you know like oh, this is so I'm like just it doesn't seem to random kind of thing i don't know like what do you think like um i know i know Roland pretty well i started with him and um he um he has no problem with such such comments so. okay cool yeah because we don't know anyone i mean i mean i don't know these people in the community so i prefer to be always very cordial like and and like don't dismiss their their I don't think yours was, but like I was just thinking to maybe make it even more. I prefer to make sometimes extra cordial just to um, in this statement. Okay. I'll I'll comment that. Is that okay? Did you want to be perfect? Okay. Cool. Right, so we can right, so I guess the next thing. Ah, this is the same thing is already we already saw this one right this one we saw i'm i'm going directly on the on the pr thing will be handled this is the next one right an operator should report in failure process in a declarative way ah this one is already It okay. is another one that you need to be re, re is that a, mm -hmm. a, a different one from that one? So which was the, the one I had thought of well. Sorry, sounds what did you say? Um, um I think we had some some think about some oh this is the same diagram, but another review, sorry. This is another review. So we'll we'll add. Do you want to do them all? Then all the diagrams re, 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 re draw yes, so, the, so this is this is already done. Uh, this, we all already handled this. This is the same diagram. Ah, okay. So the, is this? So can we can we can we like resolve this? Is this resolvable? Can you do resolve? Um, I'll resolve it after I redraw the diagram. Okay. That's fine. So, so I can leave it as it is now. Mm. Okay. Yes, but okay, I think we then, then we are through. Okay, these are, we already done these. Um, sorry, I'm, maybe you, I'm looking at the wrong screen because I, I normally go through the main pull request. Comments um, here. Did we do this change here? The wrong English? Yes, because I'll, I've already written, I wrote this. Okay, okay, we already fixed this. We already added this. Okay, and this as well. This as well. Okay, so I think we did everything. Yeah. Right? The last thing, that one. Do you want to change this one? Are looking. Um, who wants to learn? Yes, I will. I will simply change this in, in uh, when I do my my, my stuff. Uh, I think we should do this at some point. Okay. Yeah, we can. It's over here. I can add the. Yeah. Okay. okay. I guess we have the actions for us then. Mm -hmm. We can close this part. Ah, it's already one hour. Okay, that's. Perfect. <laughs> okay, then I think um, the hour is over. And it was a point landing, to be honest. Um, and yes, I think we have enough, enough action items. And yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Have a nice week. Have a nice week. Bye bye. Bye.